on guys? It's your boy Sesame Visit Video and here today brings a brand new video giving you guys some cool composition ideas and text effects for making like merch apparel and like that streetwear vibe. So the last couple weeks or so you guys have been asking a lot of questions about like hey like Sesame, what would you do for typography ideas for merch and this and that. So hopefully this video can help you guys basically think, get you guys off the ground and if you guys are looking for just concepts and mock-ups all that good stuff and like general ideas hopefully you can take this video and you can move it forward to your own kind of like ideas and lifestyles and make them push together you know what I mean. So that's the whole premise of today's video and uh, yeah with that being said all the designs that you see in today's video are done in Photoshop given of course vector files always the way to go when it comes to Illustrator but I know uh, Photoshop is very much so in that common area so a lot of people design with it and with it only so if you have some of the res right resolution for like you know mock-ups and or for your own merch style kind of stuff you print it out make sure your resolution is at least 300 but I would even say push for 600 resolution will give you guys the best quality possible when it comes down to of course pushing it towards a print area for Photoshop design uh, objects and things. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like if you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, that's it. Enjoy it. All right, homies, so the first concept I have for you guys is this. Something more along the lines of this abstract and kind of a play on words to use for the actual style itself. It also, of course, is actually super easy to do as well. Firstly, start off by typing your word of choice. For me, I chose the word effect once again. Afterwards, you want to have your text layer selected and then lower the fill down to 0%. You should actually no longer see the word, however, if you do open your layer styles by double clicking the layer, you can go to the stroke and change your position to inner. In that way, have a quick now stroked text layer, and of course, figuring out what size you want to use as well. After, to go ahead and start duplicating it, you guys want to make sure you hold the Alt and the Shift key to make it, of course, on the same axis, and of course, as well, making a duplicate. And all you have to do then is just basically click and drag. Then, of course, you want to keep on doing it until the desired copies are met. However, keep the bottom last layer at 100% fill, that way it's a solid word. Then all you guys have to do is group everything together with Control G after selecting all the layers by either clicking the top layer first, and then of course holding Shift to select the actual last layer as well, that'll select everything in between. After you guys go ahead and group it, just make sure you guys use Control J to make a duplicate just in case, and of course with one of the actual copies, make sure you press Control E to merge that group together in one single layer. After you guys want to use Liquify, found under Filter, Liquify. Using the first tool, the forward wrap tool, change your pressure on the right hand side to 50%. And then all you have to do is just basically start clicking and dragging to go ahead and apply the effect to make a really cool fun liquidy pattern. Then to just go ahead and finish, you guys can just choose a secondary word or the same word really. And whatever you guys end up doing it, make sure you guys have it in a nice little vertical format, meaning using control T, holding shift, selecting the corner, and then rotating it towards the left hand side or the right hand side, depending which way you want it to read, just to honestly elevate the idea just a little bit more. Okay, so the next concept isn't really typography, but a nice quick help to make a really cool word pattern. So this is actually super simple. All you have to do is write the word out, and of course be aware that the color you actually use for your word will be the color the pattern comes out as. But after you guys have your word, all you have to do is find your libraries tab, and if you cannot find it, it's under Windows, then choose Libraries. Then in your library tab on the bottom left, you want to select a plus button and choose Create from Image. In this table, all you have to do is go to the last tab, and of course you can play around with other tabs as well to get some really cool ideas and patterns, but go to the last tab, then scale it down so you can see the full word in the actual pattern view. Keep in mind, if your word is blurry in the preview on the left hand side, you want to either make sure your document size is a bit bigger, or make the actual text itself bigger. But if you guys would also like to rotate as well to get a cool diagonal pattern, then just definitely rotate it as well. Afterwards, be sure to click Save to CC Libraries, Finally, in the same libraries tab, you want to scroll down to where you can see the actual patterns group, and your new pattern should always be at the top. Then all you have to do is click it and just scale it down to where it kind of fits perfectly for you, and then you're done. Okay, so for this third concept, I wanted to basically use type to make a rectangle, and simply just use a nice cool pattern on the inside, or texture on the inside. So the simple way we went about this is actually writing out a word of choice, and making a duplicate of it by holding Alt and Shift and dragging it down. Then using Control T to bring up the free transform and make sure you choose the option flip vertical. And basically just from that, that'll take care of the top and the bottom view and you just want to simply just do the same exact thing on the left and right hand side. But except for using flip vertical, I'd probably use flip horizontal. And keeping in mind as well, only going as far as the length of the actual word. So naturally either use words that have the same amount of characters or just use the same word overall. Then on the inside of the now form rectangle with whatever cool font you end up going with, for the record, I ended up using gang of three. Using the rectangle marquee tool or by pressing M on your keyboard, you want to make another rectangle on the inside while also leaving a little bit of space between the two to give a nice little breathing room. Then you can either quick fill it by pressing Alt and Backspace or just right click itself, go to fill and choose a color. Then of course Control D to deselect to get rid of that selection. Then you guys can take any texture you find or make and then just clip mask it to the new rectangle you made on the inside. 
For example, if you guys want to use a transparency pattern like I ended up doing, simply put your transparent pattern on top of the rectangle and try to find a spot which word looks kind of best, right? And by using the rectangle that you made on the inside as a mask, hold control and select the thumbnail of the rectangle layer just to get a nice cool selection going. And then by simply choosing the transparent pattern layer, you want to just go ahead and choose layer mask and then boom. Then you guys got yourself a dope costume that still holds a really cool rectangle composition. Okay, homie, so obviously I have to give you guys a quick how-to on the sleeve box idea and let you guys in on the simple way you can actually do it. All you guys have to do is take your rectangle tool or by pressing U on your keyboard and make your shape. After creating a rectangle shape on the top left, decide whether or not you want to have a stroke or a filled box look by selecting one of the colors of the box and choosing the red slash to turn it off and choosing a color on the other side to turn the actual stroke and or color on. After deciding, take either your stroke or your box fill and press Ctrl T and right click and select skew. Even though nothing actually ends up changing, you guys want to make sure you select the inner top anchor point and drag it slowly towards the right. This will basically angle your rectangle and give it a little bit of motion. Afterwards, just use the Alt and the Shift key and drag to make duplicates, making sure that you're actually using smart guidelines while actually doing it. And if you guys don't have those on, it's under View, Show, Smart Guidelines. It's literally just that simple. And honestly guys, do not be too afraid to take the group of rectangles themselves with Control T and stretch, make larger, move, whatever, and make whatever kind of fun angled kind of pattern uh, that you guys wish. Of course, you, know, you don't have to only use fills, you don't have to only use strokes, you can combine them both as well, and of course you can put text in front of it, on top of it, behind it, in it, whatever. I'm just trying to get you guys some ideas and hopefully this one's definitely a good one. Alright homies, for my last little note, I want to remind you guys that in apparel concepts and merch ideas, using rectangle compositions are actually your best friends. Whether you guys see it or not, a lot of the staples come from the use cases of using rectangles and seeing how you actually group from it. Using text, pictures, textures, etc. If you ever get stuck figuring out ways to compose different ideas and mixtures of elements of type and other things, taking rectangles and running with that idea can make it a lot easier. All right, homies, it's the end of the video here today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always, and hopefully you guys can just kind of get you guys thinking and hopefully you get out of a rut when it comes to like merch, lifestyle brands. But if I had any idea to tell you guys anything, and I'm no expert at all, but if you guys are going for this lifestyle brand, making sure you're making your own thing, right? If you click on this video, I'm like, I have ideas, I just know where to go with it. When it comes to like lifestyle brands, I'm like, again, no expert, but if you guys can push an idea and a lifestyle towards a direction, good design is perfect, right? But a good meaning behind the designs and a good kind of like motion behind the entire thing. Like people put on your clothes, they're like, damn, like look at me, I, I, I rep this lifestyle. And if you can push that kind of idea, like just not like we want to make cool designs and we want people to buy it. That's fair. Really cool designs sell, but also really cool designs that have meaning as well probably sell even better. That's just what I want to say. And uh, yeah, but hope you guys enjoy. Senso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay frequent with you guys. Later, much love, and hope you guys enjoy. That's all. Peace.